find that has no place in Bernie County. Kathy Donovan recently released a television commercial and mass mailing that accuses my friend Jim Tedesco of losing more than $3.6 million to illegal financial activities. And it's just a lie. That's politics at its worst. Kathy Donovan at this point will do anything and say anything to win November 4th. But the people of Bergen County know better. Pramish transferred that $3.6 million to the state of New Jersey for the purpose of building these two beautiful, affordable housing facilities behind me that continue to assist families in need. Jim Tedesco is a friend of mine. He's a friend to the people of Bergen County. He's honest, he's hardworking, and cares about the, our communities, and he's a man of integrity. Good morning. Um, I want to touch on the history of the Affordable Housing Corp and uh, how much good it's really done here in the community. And testimony to that the two stories that were shared with us this morning. Uh, this is an organization that dates back to the early 1990s and has been in place for three administrations now. Uh, myself being the third mayor to oversee the Affordable Housing Corp. Uh, since its inception, money collected by COA fees has been, been put to good use here in the borough and it has always been a bipartisan approach. Jim Tedesco showed me the way how to change people's lives for the better. And with the first administration, we built the Banky Affordable Housing. With the second administration, Jimmy's uh, leadership, we built the Ancourt Development and we changed the lives of so many. Jimmy showed me the way and we're now building affordable housing for disabled veterans here in Brems. And that all stems from the Affordable Housing Corps, which has been active here in the borough for 20 plus years and has never had an issue and has always been something that has received bipartisan approach. What's most unfortunate and disgusting this year is how it's been used as a political football in an orchestrated effort to uh, blemish and disgrace the program that has been so successful. They say that a true test of a society is how they take care of those less fortunate. Here in Paramus, we do take care of those less fortunate through our COA dollars and the affordable housing for uh, I can't think of a better person to follow the lead from other than Jim, and I trust that you will continue to make the lives of so many people better. Getting back to this orchestrated attack on our program, there was a councilman here in the borough who I have to believe orchestrated with the Donovan campaign tried to basically perpetuate a lie, 100% lie. It was a lie that was known to be entirely false from it from the first time it was put out there. The borough then had to spend approximately $10,000 assembling documents and again addressing this lie. So in essence, taxpayer dollars were used to fund the Donovan campaign, and that's most unfortunate. Uh, the response was prepared, and when we tried to give it to the councilman, Councilman Sullivan, who presented this slide, he asked that it be tabled because he wanted a chance to review it. But the truth is, he wanted to suppress the truth. He did not want the transparency and have the truth out there that everything done to date in the affordable housing course since its inception in 1991 has been done proper and has done nothing but benefit the lives of those in need. So, uh, Jim Tedesco, thank you for showing me the way. Thank you for changing the lives of not just these two, but every resident in there, and obviously all those that will now be changed as a result of my agenda and what you've shown me to do. So, Jimmy, I can't think of a better guy to continue to lead this county in the right direction. Thank you, man. I keep changing lives for the better. Thank you. The success of this development and the new veterans housing in Paramus broke that broke ground last week are part of our commitment to help those who need a hand up. 38 years ago I joined the Paramus Volunteer Fire Department because I believed in helping people and paying it forward. It's, it was those values that led me to pursue my elected office despite some early reservations. While I aspire to serve my community I had great disdain for the dark side of government and that's politics. There are people on that dark side who are willing to say anything, regardless of the truth, in an attempt to win an election. Last week, the county executive released a television commercial which contains absolute lies and misinformation. The county executive and her campaign knew these were lies, yet 
she chose to release them anyway. What does that say about her character? And that would be willing that she would be willing to go so far just to try to damage my character. On Friday, I filed a defamation lawsuit against County Executive Kathleen Donovan and the Republican State Committee for deliberately putting out these false accusations and lies. Kathy, you are entitled to your own opinion, but you are not entitled to your own facts. While I was fighting to deliver affordable housing for families, seniors, and veterans, what were you doing? The only thing the county executive has done is cut education funding to children, cut veteran services, and cut senior services, and made Bergen County less affordable. This affordable housing development you see behind me, Park, Parkview Residence, is one of my proudest accomplishments as mayor of Paramus. Paramus used $3.6 million of COA funds, which come from developer fees, not tax dollars, to build these beautiful homes. A project that was completed in partnership with Bergen County and the state of New Jersey. Dozens of families have benefited from this project and continue to benefit every day. My opponent, will have you believe that $3.6 million just up and disappeared. Well, Miss Donovan, take a look behind us and see what that money went and what a difference it's making in people's lives today.